back to my channel. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and uh, watching my video. It means a lot to me. Um, so I wanted to come on here and say that I'm trying to switch up the vlogs a little bit. I'm trying to make them more uh, interesting, give them more content, more substance. I'll show you guys Patsy though. He's gotten quite big. <laughs> He's very long as you can see he's the sweetest sweetest cuddliest cutest little guy and he's a big mama's boy aren't you aren't you a big mama's boy as he's like why did you have to get me a brother i didn't want him i didn't want him at all maybe he'll kind of sit for me um so i did get a new ferret as you can see he's a little bit of a kook but I'll talk more about that um, in a second. So I wasn't planning on getting Patsu a buddy. I thought he was doing just fine being a uh, solitary ferret. I saw um, Howl in the store about a month ago and to my surprise, no one had adopted him or his sister in the time that he's been there. And so he's been kind of um, sitting in his tiny cage with his sister for over a month, sleeping in his litter box, looking miserable. He just wanted to get out and play so badly and I just felt so terrible for him and his sister. I wish I could have gotten them both, but I don't, I don't know, not yet, not yet. I'm not ready for three. Moving on to this troublemaker. Oh, Patsy's getting out. Um, Hal's a bit of a wild child. He doesn't really like to be held all that much. Um, he likes to be held when he wants to be held. Um, a bit of a handful. Bit of a, bit of a handful. Um, stop. So this is what. Stop. This is what he looks like. He's a little baby. He is actually bigger than Patsu is, um, even though he is younger. Um, I wish he would just sit still. But he is very sweet, even though he is a little nippy sometimes. He loves to play. Oh, yes? Oh, I thought he was going to bite my nose. <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's a crazy little worm. He's a Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> he just did that. Oh my god. You go play. You go play. You get out of here. had a bit of a um, diet change for these boys. Um, we are now on a raw diet, <laughs> which is proven to be, okay, the best diet for ferrets. It's been a lot of uh, fun, especially for a vegetarian who has absolutely no idea how to prepare meat. Diet is extremely important for pretty much all animals. I wish that more people would look uh, into and research the ingredients in their pet's food, especially dogs and cats and ferrets. I think it's, it's, it's incredibly important and a lot of people will just go into the store and buy, you know, whatever the uh, employee recommends, which is what the management is telling them to recommend. For ferrets, meat and meat only. <laughs> if you can. Um, if you can't, you might want to uh, think about getting a different animal. I keep looking down, I'm sorry, Patsu is um, exploring my sweatshirt. Hi, my baby. So we've been exploring and experimenting with a raw diet. It's been a lot of fun and it's easy if you have young ferrets. Um, if they're over a year, they 
usually imprint on their food, so it's harder to transition them to something new. Um, so we've been doing a lot with that. Hello, honey. That's kind of how it's been. Um, we had a lot of snow the other day on Friday, yesterday it was, a lot of snow. Uh, so right now it's kind of just the remnants of it, and that is not a lot uh, compared to yesterday at all. But we were pretty snowed in, and thankfully I didn't have to go to work. Um, they didn't really need me yesterday, so I didn't have to go anywhere. But um, <laughs> these guys have been relaxing. <laughs> Sedona out for a walk, I didn't realize that the snow was still this deep. Oh. Sedona doesn't really like the cold that much, but today it's very warm. It's nearly 40 degrees. It's just, there's just snow on the ground. A lot of, a lot of snow. Holy cow. I'm hoping that once we get up to the trail, it won't be this deep, because this is quite a workout for me. Oh. There she goes. <laughs> like I said, it's 40-something degrees. It feels really, really nice. There's no wind. Um, yeah, it feels really good. But yeah, so we had a good, good weekend. I mean, it is only Saturday, but we had a good couple days. Um, over here in the in the uh, North Pole. Around this time of year, I like to go whew, take <laughs> photos of just anything that I can. I find the winters here to be absolutely beautiful. I love winter. Um, I say that now because it's like really nice outside right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 